Hello everyone and welcome back to another space weather update. My name is Alexis of Ascension Diaries and on this channel we track the sun and consciousness as well as my own consciousness. So here we go. We are very much expecting more solar wind to be hitting us and for the coherency of our planet to continue going down and below average this weekend because the even the astrophysicists all of the Aurora Borealis watchers, they're all talking amongst each other now on Twitter, being like, did this wave actually hit us? Are we actually experiencing this X2 solar flare? Some of them weren't sure, but I have some evidence that yes, it is hitting us. Yes, it's continuing. And yes, our coherency is struggling a little bit, but not terribly. Since I've recorded this video a few times today already, I've seen the coherency go from orange to yellow to green. So as the morning progresses here in the West, it's getting a little bit more coherent, but you can see over the last 24 hours, it didn't hit past that. It didn't go down past that halfway point into the blue, I would say, in the last 24 hours. So not a lot of coherency there, but we're going to try and see how we can do the rest of today. So we have a little bit of evidence here of that solar flare again, hitting our ionosphere, blocking out this, the radio waves, basically. So our military can't talk to each other properly via radio waves, but it was brief. But it's something that is important to know about the solar flares is that it causes those radio waves to actually just stop carrying for a few seconds there because of the literal shift in the ionosphere that happens to deal with these solar flares. So the solar wind is now our concern in this episode. The solar wind is 515.5 kilometers per second. It should be around 400. So it's 115 kilometers per second over average, which is a concern. We have a report here that yes, indeed, there was a geomagnetic storm that began. We're currently in it at least the last three hours. And we will perhaps get another one of these yellow bars or it could go up in intensity. Some of them are arguing that it, indeed it will go up in intensity. We're watching the solar wind in real time. We're watching that there is about, I don't even know how much time here, like maybe an hour missing where the solar wind jumps about 100 kilometers per second. So unfortunately, for anybody with a brain, they know that there's, there's important data missing here about the behavior of the impact of that solar wind on our planet. But why is it missing? Please ask those questions. I'm wondering, please, why is it missing? Here's the evidence of the solar wind continuing to impact us. As you can see, the friction behind the magnetic field of the Earth is gathering here. You can see it in both ones of these particular graphs that show the side of the Earth as the solar wind is coming this way, whoop, whoop, pushing on the planet. Here again is our electron density over the actual planet in the atlas. As I'm film, filming these videos, the area of importance here, the geopolitical intensity is getting its noontime, it's getting radiated the most. So right now, we can send those prayers and, and that love for peace and prosperity amongst these people and amongst this cradle of civilization, which is because of the shape of our earth and where the sun is just radiating the most. And that can change based off of so many factors our planet has changed shape and so on so many times the continents have moved around so it's just circumstantial at this time and that's also why we are a migrating species because you get out of the range of the madness and i believe that's what we did back in the day so are we in the madness not really like really we aren't in the madness of solar flare episodes right now so that is a blessing hopefully that'll sustain we're only dealing with solar wind right now solar ham put their finger on it was like hey there's something weird going on with the solar wind charts that probably would be the shift of the solar wind coming in from those solar flares and i would agree there is space weather live showing that we did have conditions for the aurora borealis we got a kp5 Okay, we have our homie in Calgary, at least east of Calgary, taking pictures of the Aurora, posting it. I follow this dude, very popular on Twitter for the Aurora in specific. And yeah, we're seeing some greens and some reds, which is a little bit more rare. The red is a different indicator in a way of intensity and the, I would say almost the polarity of the wind as well. So over the last few years, there is recorded 
you know, archives of the solar flare max, the most powerful solar flare of the year. So we're in 2023. It's about to end, obviously. But I'm just going to take you back and give you a little bit more of a history lesson for a second. So 2020, our biggest flare this year, X2.87. They changed that. They've actually updated that because they were saying it was a 2.7. So they've changed it back. <laughs> Strange, but it happens. Then we go 2022. They had an X2.25, slightly less. 2021, slightly less again. X1.59. 2020, an M4.4 was their most powerful. 2019, a C9.9, which is almost an M1. Okay, so not even an M class. 2018, a C8 was their highest solar flare. Nothing. And then 2017, an X9.3. So if 2024 is going to be our most popular year for solar flares, then we're going to get an X.9 again, potentially next year. Don't worry, because 2025 promises that maybe we'll get almost no activity after that. Seems like the sun really wears itself out <laughs> after that maximum and then takes a little while to build up its momentum again, <laughs> which is the study of the solar cycles. So it's like 11 year cycle, but the middle number of, it, of 11 is five to six, right? That's the center of an 11 year cycle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the weakest point should be around five, six years ago for us. So it goes from the weakest point to the strongest point of the solar cycle within that time. So the timing's right. We're here. We're ready. We, um, we maybe should have got a more powerful one this year, and it could still happen, honestly. But next year, for sure, we're going to be very interested to see if it gets more powerful or less powerful. The countries that I want to mention that struggled the most this particular wave were Malaysia and China. They got a lot of precipitation and Buenos Aires, Argentina, Argentina in general, they got a ton of wind. So precipitation and wind is basically just our own atmosphere just getting pushed down to alchemize and ground that energy, right? So it's grounding in those areas, the solar wind, which is super interesting, but not always the lottery you want to win because they're definitely dealing with some problems with that flooding and with that wind. That wind was killing people. It was going so fast. Like I saw some footage of it. It's in my telegram. It was wild. So <clears throat> the only resource other than in Russia and HeartMath and Italy that's showing me any sort of electromagnetic, uh, I would say stoking in our atmosphere is Italy. Russia is not giving me a lot of data and heart mass shut down. So unfortunately they were not able to take my criticisms and use them productively, but that's not a surprise for me, unfortunately for them. So ascensiondiaries.com, if you want a session with myself, if you would please sign up to my mailing list, at least with your email, you can then go to my Patreon and sign up and become a member so you can come to the meeting tomorrow on the 18th or you can join my free 24 7 community telegram chat room which we do discuss this and i told you i've sent that information about malaysia and buenos aires to that group because they're always up they're up in the middle of the night they're talking they're discussing their feelings they're discussing their process through the ascension it's a beautiful place i don't even interrupt them for the most part i'm just inserting information they've taken the floor and taking care of each other. It's a beautiful place. I absolutely love my Telegram chat room. Shout out to all of you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Have a beautiful day.